What's up guys? Welcome back. In this video, I have a tutorial for you on how to create a slideshow on Filmora Go. A totally free, super easy to use and quite powerful video editor app for Android as well as iOS. If you still don't subscribe my channel, please do subscribe. Let's start the video. Step 1. Make a plan and prepare your content. For this tutorial, here I have prepared some photos to create a slideshow on Filmora Go. Step number 2. Download Filmora Go from the Play Store. Open Play Store. Type Filmora Go. As you see, I have already downloaded this. So let's jump in step 3. Open the Filmora Go and import your photos and videos there. Filmora Go is handy as you can select your content from various sources. Your phone camera roll, album created, Facebook, Instagram. You will need to log in to your social media accounts to access all the selected content from those accounts. When you select and add a photo to your content, you will see it moving into the blue arrow at the bottom left. This is where all your content is collected. You will see an increasing number indicated on the arrow as you add new content. Click on the arrow to see which photo are added so far. And if you want, you can remove any content from there. When you select a video, Filmora Go will first give you the option to trim your video before editing it to your slideshow content. I found this feature handy. If you already know what you want, you can take care of this at the very beginning of the project. Move the two sliders to the position you want to cut the video. Once you are done, click on plus icon to add the video to your slideshow content. Let's go in step 4. Tap next. Once you select and add your content, you will move the editing screen where you can arrange and edit your photos and videos. A powerful feature of Filmora Go is that it automatically fits your photos and videos on a 16 by 9 aspect ratio by cutting the sides with a nice panning effect and it really convenient that I don't need to make any single adjustment. In several other video editors, the process is rather time consuming. I advise you to set your aspect ratio at this stage. If you want to have a different setting than this default, for example, you might want to set 1 is to 1 aspect ratio for a slideshow that you want to share on Instagram or Facebook. You just need to go the ratio or crop option from the right menu of the main editing screen. After this, just make sure that all your content and timeline order in this panel. Want to change the order of your content on your timeline? Simply drag and drop them to their new position. Some further options to arrange your photos and videos are available when you click on the Trim icon.
when it comes to videos you can trim and split them make them play in reverse duplicate and delete them you can add new content here you can add new content here too by simply click on add step 5 edit your photos filmora go offers a good variety of editing features for a free smartphone app that help you create a slideshow quickly. I really like that. There are two ways to access the editing tools. Click on the edit tools option from the right menu on the screen and click on the photos or videos from the timeline. Step 6. Edit your videos. The edit tool for videos offer two additional features when compared to photos, speed and audio mixer. One of the Filmorago features that I like is to be able to crop your videos easily on the click. With some other video editors, you would need to do this with an additional app. Step 7. Add Transactions to add transactions between your clips, click on transactions from the right menu on the main editing screen. Select a transaction icon between two clips and select a transaction from left menu. Be sure to select the apply all option at the right if you want to apply the same transaction to your all slideshow. The best transaction that works elegantly in slideshow is dissolve. Step 8. Add music. Make a music choice relevant and add it to your slideshow. To start, click on music from the right menu on the main editing screen and select your music from the built-in music library offered by Filmora Go or from your own library. After you add your music to the slideshow, click on the each song and move the two sliders to mark at the point of the slideshow your music should start or end. This way you can place more than one music, more than one music piece on the slideshow timeline and adjust how they play one after another. Step 9. Synchronize everything. When you add your content to the timeline, Filmorago sets the duration for each photo 5 seconds by default. Check if this synchronizes well with the beats of your slideshow background music with the transaction. 
if not you will have to synchronize music and content manually by adjusting the duration of your clip access the trim menu the same way you you did in step 4 and adjust the duration of each clip one by one manually Step 10. Export your slideshow. Preview your slideshow, make some fine tuning and once you are happy with what you have, export and save your slideshow. Click on save from the right menu of the main screen and wait until Filmorago exports your slideshow. You can preview your slideshow, share it with others or save it to your camera roll. Whenever I create a slideshow on the go, I prefer to save it on my camera roll first and then share it with others from my phone rather than directly share from the app just to be on the safe side. I really enjoy creating slideshow on the go as I work on them any, anytime, anywhere. I like Filmora Go as I can create nice and elegant looking slideshow on my phone easily without much of a hassle for free. That's all for today. Hope you learn and like this video. If this video is useful for you, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you could get this kind of videos in the future. Thanks for being with the tutorial lab. Thanks for watching.